Hello everyone and welcome back to the Kids Health Revolution Kitchen where we are cooking up a revolution in your kids health one simple but delicious recipe at a time. And I put it out to my community on Kids Health Revolution on Facebook as well as our private group as to what recipe they would like to see first this month and the veggie tartlets uh, won by what I might call a landslide. Lots of uh, people wanted to see that recipe. So that's the first one that I've worked on and here they are. So I'm not going to actually go through the recipe with you on this video but you know that you can find the recipe in the file section of the private Facebook group. So that's the private Kids Health Revolution Facebook group. And as well, if you'd like to get the recipe right to your inbox, you can do that by going to kidshealthrevolution.com. There's a little um, tab at the top that says join community. Pop in your email address and then each week when we do these recipes, you get a copy of it straight into your inbox. So I know that people are pretty busy and you don't have a lot of time to watch the whole recipe. So I thought this way I would just sort of show you what it looks like. We'll talk a little bit about the nutrients in the ingredients and then you can grab the recipe and cook it on your own time. So these are veggie tarts or veggie tartlets. Uh, you can make a couple of different sizes packed full of amazing nutrition, of course, because that's what this is all about, is boosting the nutrient density for our kiddos and making sure that they're foods that are also going to support their gut health at the same time. So these are paleo. Uh, they also could be gaps. On the recipe, I'm going to give you an option for a paleo uh, egg-free pastry or a gaps uh, pastry that will use eggs. So there'll be two options there. All the filling ingredients are absolutely approved for GAPS or Paleo, of course, gluten-free, all of that good stuff. So let's talk about what we've got in here for nutrient density. We've got cauliflower, which is a cruciferous vegetable. Not always easy to get into our kiddos if they're a little bit picky. So hugely high in those wonderful antioxidants that we want for an anti-inflammatory diet. Vitamin C is really high in cauliflower folate, vitamin K, fiber, of course, and choline, which is a very important nutrient in terms of brain health. And it's not always easy to get in the diet, so cauliflower is a really great source of it. Um, what else have we got? We've got squash in here. So this one uses butternut squash. You could also use an acorn squash, but butternut squash again is really high in antioxidants. It has a lot of beta carotene and beta carotene is a, a really good antioxidant. Uh, vitamin C, magnesium, potassium, of course, fiber. And, uh, you know, one thing that I'm going to mention about this is, you know, we're going through a bit of a panic right now with some new uh, viral things going around and getting these antioxidants, vitamin C, vitamin A, beta carotene, vitamin E, these things into our diet is a really great way to ensure that our immune systems are purring along as they should. So cauliflower, good vitamin C, good beta carotene in the squash. Uh, vitamin C in the squash as well. We've got zucchini in here, which is also a good source of beta carotene and vitamin C. So really an excellent little treat for your kids that is full of amazing nutrient density. Now I call it a treat because you know this isn't this is a bit more work than maybe some recipes are because of the pastry and having to uh, you know, press the pastry out into your pastry pan shells. But really this recipe probably will take you start to finish half an hour to 45 minutes of hands-on time. So you're gonna roast the vegetables. That doesn't involve hands-on time. Then you're gonna kind of puree them together a bit of hands-on time there. Then while that's sitting and just absorbing all the lovely flavors, we're going to have you do the pastry. And that's the most time consuming part, not the actual making of it, but pressing it into your, into your little muffin rounds at a loss for words. So that's why I've given you the two options. You could do this in these little mini cute little bite sized form, or you could do them a little bit bigger saves a little bit of time. So these are almost like little mini quiches. Uh, and it has a very similar texture to a quiche. So I'm gonna show you here, I've cut one open 
and you can see there that it's got that similar quiche like texture but no eggs so if you're not able to do eggs right now this is a really good option for you it also has chorizo sausage in it so we have a little bit of protein in there as well so i want to just give you a quick tip for making this quick and easy uh, instead of having to chop up your butternut squash, which you could certainly do, it is more economical. Economical? Yes. But if you are a little short on time and you'd like to do the stuff that's already cooked, I use these organic butternut squash packages. This is uh, this size is about exactly uh, two cups of the butternut squash, so it works nicely. And then I also do the same with the cauliflower. So I use a frozen cauliflower. I just let it thaw on the counter for 10 or 15 minutes and then I pop it into my oven to roast. So that's one way that you can make this a little bit less labor intensive in having to chop up all the vegetables. Uh, in terms of the chorizo sausage, this is the chorizo sausage brown that I use. If you're in Alberta, then you're lucky enough that you can get the Sunwork sausages. And they're really great because they don't have a lot of the ingredients or any of the ingredients that we need to avoid when we're doing a gut healthy protocol. So they're just chicken and spices and perhaps a little bit of honey in there and that's it. So those are the ingredients that I used. This is the result that you get. You've heard how incredibly nutrient dense these are. Really pretty easy to make in, in the, the long and the short of it. Just takes a little bit of time in the kitchen. But I think your kiddos are really gonna like this recipe. So I hope you'll give it a try and then I hope that you'll share your results with me in the comments um, below in this video or post your pictures. I love it in our private group when people post their pictures of their own version of this. So there you go guys, quick and easy recipe of course will be in the files section shortly of the uh, private group as well you can get a copy to your inbox by joining the kids health revolution community over on my website kidshealthrevolution.com if you have questions of course right below and i'd be happy to answer them if you liked it i'd love it if you'd share it if there's somebody out there you think could benefit from it that would be wonderful i'll see you all again really soon